Hey everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands On Auto Training. We got a 2019 Dodge Ram. This has that uh, 5.7 e-torque motor. Check this out, it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, guys, looking at the service information, uh, I, I've never put in one of these before. It's got a brand new unit installed. Uh, the last step of the procedure for replacement on all data does say to program the unit as outlined uh, in the scan tool. So I'm assuming Ytex is going to guide me through what I need to do to complete the job here. I'm not 100% sure about that, um, but we're going to find out as we go. I'm taking you guys along for what I do. Also, one thing to note is that this uh, hybrid control processor is integral to the MGU, that's a motor generator unit, and it's flash sensitive what does it say? It's flash programmable and is sensitive to cold temperature during module flashing. So it's really important that we make sure that we understand what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Ytex scan tool, what we got going on here. And uh, here we are. Got logged in here. We're at 11.5 volts. I do have my generator and my charger running out there, but I don't have it turned on yet. I want to see what the, basically what the procedure says to do. So, um, Let's see. Well, first I'm going to take a look at my uh, complete vehicle DTC scan. So we're going to click on this report button over here and click on vehicle scan report, create a PDF. And this is just the best thing always to do uh, to protect yourself and uh, your customers from problems. So I'm going to go ahead and print this to PDF here and just hit the print button. And we've got that saved. Now we're going to go back into the YTAC here. And I'm actually going to go to all DTCs and see what we have going on. So we have loss of communication with the starter generator control module uh, that's active. So you can see the active codes are listed here. Loss of communication from the hybrid control module A. Window not calibrated, not worried about those. So really, let's take a look at what we need to do here. Um, I see we got uh, flash updates for all kinds of modules. And this module here being orange is just so you know that is an unresponsive negative response from the module very interesting so uh, hmm interesting stuff how they don't really tell us how to go about the programming here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this module and see see what the flash says uh, it looks like there's only one part number available uh, we are at 11.5 volts I do have my little uh, orange indicator or yellow indicator up there so I do want to go ahead and turn on my battery uh, charger. I want to maintain battery voltage. Uh, like I said, guys, this is the first time I'm doing this one here. Let's get this thing going at 13.4. And uh, yeah, there is the unit there. So my generator's ramping up a little bit, trying to keep up there. The little predator working hard. So back to the vehicle. You can see we have the 13.3 volts. That's good. Um, Guys, I'm really kind of shocked there isn't a lot of information here. Let's go to data, see if it's reading data. Um, oh, wow, you get to choose your items. Check that out. Uh, they're always changing stuff on YTech a little bit for us. Lots of information here, but this, this information is not, as you see, it's not populating. Um, so I'm really curious to see. I think we just got to go ahead and flash this bad boy. So I'm going to hit the flash button and hit OK and click on this and we'll just type in replacement unit. There we go. I'll go ahead and scroll down, make sure my uh, computer is getting charged. It is. That's awesome. Go ahead and hit flash ECU. And uh, we do have to use a programming subscription. These are the $35 subscriptions from Chrysler. I already have that bought, so we can continue. And let's see what happens. It says it's authenticating. Please wait. Guys, I really don't like doing jobs I've never done for the first time on a whim. Um, I was kind of hesitant about taking a job on. Um, actually, the first time I got called on this, I don't know if I made uh, any videos about it, but uh, YTEC was having lots of problems with uh, the YTEC software and the G2534 device for the Group Technologies Card Act 3 Plus. This is probably a month and a half ago. All kinds of weird stuff was going on where I couldn't get many uh, Chrysler flashes done, then they fixed the software. Um, this customer actually called me on this job at that point, and I don't know if they couldn't get the part or whatnot, but uh, here we are a month and a half later or whatnot doing the job. So it does say it's erasing the logical block, so we're just waiting for this thing to, to do its thing. 
just so you guys know, as you're programming, you will uh, see all kinds of uh, messages on the dash. I usually don't worry about anything as you're actually programming. You'll have all kinds of weird stuff. No bus, the temperature's not reading right, uh, all kinds of goofiness going on. So we're not so worried about all that at this point. Uh, we'll worry about all that after this programming is complete. All right, as you see, we're just about done here, which is awesome. So it has successfully flashed it. That's great. So at this point, guys, I always take a screenshot of this, even though it's going to be on the, um, I guess, the end result. Window Shift S does that. Guys, I left my mouse on the seat of a car at a shop. I'm really bumming about that. Uh, save the picture, and now we're going to go ahead and we can click on View DTCs. And there's a lot of stuff going on there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, probably clear all the DTCs, continue. And I see a lot of active codes that I shouldn't have here, so I'm kind of concerned about that, but we probably have to cycle the key. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, turn the key to the off position. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. This thing only has 75,000 miles on the clock, guys. That's an expensive repair. I think that alternator cost was like 1,300 bucks. All right, I gave this just a uh, a few seconds uh, or maybe 30 seconds or so so we're gonna go ahead and turn this back to the run position and I want to go back and check all the DTC's that we have see what's up so I'm gonna click on all DTC's and uh, that, went, that code went to stored it was probably because the uh, bus was inactive so I'm gonna get clear DTC's and hit continue um, and we're gonna see what happens now as you guys probably noticed on the topology before, right over here we have a bunch. You can see there are a ton of modules that need to be flashed. What is this one? Battery pack control module. I'm assuming we should probably update that uh, because we did update this HCP. And if you remember the topology map here, the network topology, we did not have a uh, listing for, or should I say that this didn't come up on the uh, network before. So let's go ahead and click on this. And let's see what the TSB says for this vehicle. Um, battery control pack updates. Well, I'm assuming because we did the one, we should probably just go ahead and do this one too. So, new MGU. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that thing flashed and see what happens. And it looks like we're gonna be off to the races in just a second. Hopefully this is a relatively quick flash. Hear all kinds of clicking going on inside of the uh, transmission, and you know, not in park, no bus. We lost our temperatures. All kinds of baloney going on. So that's pretty normal. We'll see what happens here. All right, and it looks like this is just about done. So flash process successful. That's awesome. I'm happy about that. I also want to take a second and show you guys. There are actually two uh, belt tensioners. You got one belt tensioner right there. It looks like a standard fair belt tensioner. I don't know how clear this is coming out on camera. And then you got this other one It looks like it has a hydraulic dampener built into it over there. So the shop said this was a little bit of a difficult uh, uh, tensioning job to do. Kind of a funny funny setup they have there for sure. But that is the e-torque. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this because this is good stuff, guys. Always screenshot your work. That way you can see that you did it properly. And let's go ahead and hit view DTCs one more time. Now we've got a bunch of active codes. Uh, once again, I'm going to go ahead and cycle the ignition key. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to let it sit for a second. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, check the codes again. As you see here, I'm going back in here and uh, even with the key off right now, it takes a second for everything to go to sleep. You can slowly see the models kind of going to sleep. So we're just going to let this thing gel for a second. And um, I'll, I don't know if I'm going to reflash all these other modules that have the updates. I really don't really want to. <clears throat> um, I'd have to charge more for getting into each one of these things. But let me go ahead and turn the key back to the run position. And there is run. And now we have an HCP code. Oh, hold on. I didn't want to click on that PC. I'm going to go back this way. Let's go to all DTCs. Got a bunch of active ones. Well, now they all want this store. It takes a second for everything to get happy. Um, so let me clear all these codes. 
Clear all DTCs and hit continue. Um, I really don't know how important it is to have this thing not cold. It says this thing needs to be at room temperature. So that's something always to think about if you're uh, heading out to do one of these jobs or if you got one of these vehicles in your shop. Make sure that uh, you pay attention to the details because that's what will always get you. All right, right now we're showing a clean bill of health. I'm going to go ahead and run over here and uh, turn off my charger. Let's get the stop button there, turn it off. Go over here, shut down the generator, don't need that on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this vehicle to the off position. Disconnect my charger all the way, should I say. I'm going to make it so I'm not even on there. Off. Let's go ahead and start this thing up and see what happens. I have to put my foot on the brake. All right, we definitely have a runner. Kind of sounds like this thing has a couple of exhaust leaks or something going on. I'm not sure. Got the hood open message. I don't see any other indicator lights on the dash. That's great. We do have that PCM code to pop back up. Let's take a look at all DTCs here. Uh-oh, air, active air dam module, active code. That is the uh, the module up front. I'm gonna have to ask the shop if they did a pre-scan on this. Um, but we do have the, the air dam. You know, you got your little active grill shutter, as they call it, and it's saying it's not communicating. I don't know where the uh, plug is for that. Um, probably more than likely, a, a situation that was going on before the vehicle even came to the shop but I'm gonna go ahead and check on that I went ahead and cleared the codes one more time and I'm gonna go and start this another time and see if we still get that active grill shutter code um, I don't think it has anything to do with what we've done here we can also take a look at what the PCM updates are on this vehicle um, let's just click here we're not gonna actually flash it with the vehicle running we're just taking a look to see what the TSB says uh, just flash for updates. That means Chrysler probably doesn't even know what the updates are. We gotta go see if they'll give us a TSB um, to see what codes are for this. Okay, so nothing to do with the uh, codes that we have. Um, okay, so look at this in this TSB. It does say the TCM and the PC TCM and the HPC must be updated to the latest software. And guys, if we update our HCP, I'm sure we're gonna update our uh, PCM. So let's go take a look and figure out what the shop wants to do here. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and update the TCM and the PCM, at least to the latest calibrations. I hate to do that because this can be time consuming and I don't feel like I properly quoted the job, but we gotta make sure we get this thing done right because I don't wanna have some of these modules with the latest calibration, other ones not. So we're going to go ahead and get the PCM and the TCM done. Um, go ahead and update those. Because it's the right thing to do. Um, I really wish um, really wish I would have quoted the job differently. These Chryslers are starting to be a real challenge to properly quote a job. And you, know, you never know how many modules you're going to have to program to do the job right. Other updated modules, we'll see. Sometimes I really get in a, a jam where... There's a, uh, one of the flashes that's a you know, safety recall flash, and I don't really want to do it because I want to make sure they get back to the de dealer to uh, take care of the rest of the job, if you will. So here we go, uh, starting our flash on our PCM. Notice it says authenticating. Isn't that pretty cool? They let us know they're authenticating it. So um, guys, it's, let's see, it is uh, almost 11 o'clock right now. I'll get back with you when this part of it's done. All right, so we've got the uh, PCM programming complete. It says turn the ignition off. I already hit the button there before I got the camera rolling. And we're gonna hit the continue button. And now it says turn the key back to the run position. We'll go ahead and do that. Boom. One more time, we are in the run position. And hit continue. All right, so you see it says flash process is successful. That's excellent. We're gonna go back and update the TCM as well. Like I said, we wanna make sure we get all these modules up to date for our customer. And we'll hit view DTCs. 
And uh, hold on one second. I'll go hit the TCM button. I'll be right with you. Just a second. So here we go. Here's our transmission control module. We're going to go ahead and update that to the latest calibrations and hit the OK button. Once again, we always check and make sure our battery voltage is good. 13.3, I still got the generator running. The reason we're uh, updating all these modules is because when you update one, if you look at the TSBs, it wants everything else up to date too. So here we go, we're gonna let it rip. I'll catch you guys after this part's done. All right guys, so we got the TCM is updated here, turn the ignition off, and we'll go ahead and hit the key button off, hit the continue button over here. And it'll tell us to turn that key back on, and then we're going to see if we can get a clean bill of health. My customer did tell me that they were having the active grill shutter codes uh, before the service here, so I'm not so worried about those going on. Pretty sad that this is only a 2019, man, with 75000 with all these big, expensive problems. But, hey, car with the star don't go far. All right, so we'll hit the continue button. I don't know if I'll keep that in the video or not, but... <laughs> So we're gonna continue. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check the DTCs. It's rescanning the vehicle, and um, pretty much, guys. I think this was a really straightforward programming job. Besides the fact that you have to make sure that uh, that uh, motor generator units at the uh, room temperature, and uh, you know, updating all these other modules. There's just a lot of modules to update. So we're gonna hit the view button, clear this all out, and then we'll start it up one more time and see what we got. So you see here, I did clear the codes and no codes returned until I did two uh, key cycles, uh, two ignition cycles, and then we did get that active grill shutter code back. Um, my customer said their customer wasn't worried about that, so therefore I'm not worried about it. But uh, hey, this was pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. The reason I made a video of this is because I've never programmed one of these modules before, so as I go about doing uh, jobs I'm not familiar with, I will make videos and post them either to the YouTube or to the membership site. Be sure to check that out, handsonautotraining.com if you want to brush up your electrical skills and uh, learn some more stuff about PicoScope and different things, be sure to check that out. It's good stuff. And also, if you like this content, please do take the time to hit that little uh, subscription button, uh, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. The thumbs up and likes are awesome as well. You guys take it easy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.